Hello, and welcome back to, uh, hopefully police don't get involved in this or this will be a very short story, the game. With that in mind, let's get started. Hey, that hurts. Let me go. Oh, shit. Oh, thought I got punched. Kirisu pushes me away. Then she shoots me a wary glare. I realize that I'm gaping in disbelief. Hmm. Odd phrasing. What's wrong with you? You're okay? But that's impossible. Someone stabbed you. I saw you lying in a pool of blood. That again? But, but I did. Daru interrupts. Wait, there's something strange about what he just said. What do you mean, again? I mean, you sent me that email, like, a week ago, right? A week. I sent you an email? Yeah, you did. Wait. It, but he doesn't know that he... Oh, no. What you crazy? Don't be ridiculous. I saw her dead just three hours ago. Hey, could you not talk about me like that? I'm perfectly fine. Aside from your... Aside from your, uh, tie that's bleeding into your shirt with all the pixels and... Rather interesting art style. Okay. You know, that message was kinda weird. It was dated a week after I got it, which means it came from the future. Uh, the blah 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 blah. It came from the future? It's not how phones work. Um... That sounds like something you'd read on the internet, Daru. It's rare for you to talk about ridiculous theories. No, the date was definitely a week later. It came from, uh, the 28th. Wait, that's, that's today. Daru pulls out his phone and shows it to me. Ugh. That, that's weird. He's right. The email was sent from my phone. I don't like that. <laughs> he received it on July 21st at 12.56. But it was sent on July 28th at 12.54. It's strange. It was split into three mails. Someone stab. Bed, Makise, K, Urisu, don't. Why did I send such a short message in three parts? And it looks like the third email got cut off. I do recognize the content, though. This is the email I sent you three hours ago. But I sent one mail, 
not three. And there should be more text. Did Daru really get this a week ago? Interesting. Suddenly, Karisu is standing next to me, peering intently at the screen of Daru's phone. Oh, right. The email's not important. Well, maybe it is, but not right now. The real question is why she's still alive. Is she an illusion? No. An evil spirit? Am I haunted? I don't believe in such unscientific drivel. I am a mad scientist. Oh. I timidly reach out to Curtis's face. Don't do it, you're gonna get bitch slapped. My fingertips stroke her hair. Oh no, I don't like... Uh, I don't like this. Feel silky. Quite the cuticles. Please don't. Substance. She has substance. Of course she's not a ghost. How silly of me. <laughs> yeah? Oh, Ocarine. Mazukune. Uh, Ocarine. I don't think that's a good idea. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I poke Carissa's cheeks with my fingers. Please. Please, no. This is... This is odd. Such softness. Dead bodies don't feel like this. <sighs> Not that I've ever touched one. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey. Wait a minute, we already touched when I bumped into her coming out of the elevator. I even grabbed her shoulders before being pushed away. So stop trying to stroke her face? You just met her in this time line, time frame, time something? I don't know. And I still doubted that she had substance? That's just proof of how confused I am. If she's alive, then what did I see back at Radicon? What was that scream I heard? Were they hallucin hallucinations? Just like that mass disappearance? That's right, she was stabbed. Maybe she's just hiding her wounds. She's wearing the same clothes. And it happened three hours ago. There is no way that she was able to... get hospitalized... clean and sew up her own old, old clothes, right? That's impossible. Right? <laughs> This requires further investigation. Oh my! I grab the hem of her blouse and slowly lift it. I'm gonna have to censor some stuff, aren't I? I don't want to have to do this. Y you two, please, please be kind. Are you trying to get yourself arrested? Yeah, uh-huh. Cops are gonna get involved. I just want to know the truth. Ugh. I stare straight back at Karisu as she trembles with anger and lift her blouse a little Ugh. What truth, you perv? You stupid. Wanna die. She pushes my hand away. Luis chan no Luis Chan's famous line for the win. Itaru, please. Itaru shouts something silly, but I ignore him and press Karisu. Please stop. I know what I saw. No way. Did you just see my underwood? Karisu's face turns bright red. She firmly pulls her blouse down. 
No, you fool. Not that. <laughs> Earlier this afternoon, after Dr. Nakabachi's presentation, someone killed Makisa Kurisu and left her in a pool of blood. I carefully explained everything that I saw. Doctor Nakabachi. Wait, Doctor Nakabachi? Okari, nani terun? Nakabachi no happy okai nara chushi ni natta jian. What are you talking about, Okari? Doctor Nakabachi's presentation was canceled, so that satellite probably did not kill a bunch of people. Then, that's good to know. Chushi? Canceled. So. Yeah, because of the satellite crash. This is hurting my brain. This is hurting my brain. <laughs> Something's wrong. Our stories aren't matching. It's the same thing that happened right after I saw the mass disappearance. My Yuri story didn't match mine. I need to know. Am I caught in some sinister plot? Is this another organization conspiracy? Excuse me. Um. What? My name is Oin Kyoma. Really? Man. You're hopeless. Oin-san, Okay, Owen san, I'd like to hear your story in more detail. Looks like she finally understands I'm not lying. But I still don't understand why my memories don't match everyone else's. I doubt I can give her a good explanation. Just then, an older man steps out of the assembly hall. Makise san, soro soro jikan desu shi, hajimemashou. Makise san. It's almost time. Uh, hi. Huh? Oh, right. Thank you. Kurisu glances at me one more time, then sighs and heads towards the small conference room. We should go too. Go where? To hear the lecture, duh. Ah, that. Daru follows after Kurisu. Did she come to attend the lecture too? Strange. Why would the girl genius, Makise Kurisu, need to attend a lecture like this? Okay. My guess was a bit off. The girl genius didn't come to attend the lecture. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming to hear me speak today. She's the one giving the lecture. Japan's famous girl genius, Makisa Kirisu, who had her thesis published at the tender age of 17. According to Dowager, she turned 18 a few days ago. I first heard about her when Dowager pointed her out in a Gossip Magazine article. That's when he told me that she was going to be a guest at ATF. I'd forgotten all about it. It's my first time giving a lecture like this, so please forgive me if I'm a little nervous. That's not a mixed audience. Oh, I, I thought it meant that their emotions and feelings about this were mixed. But it's students like us. There are also a couple professors, yeah. 
Please stop clapping, I can't hear a thing. And Kurisu just gave me a sharp look. What did I do? When I return her stare, she quickly averts her eyes. Um, you just tried to feel her out before the, uh, lecture, buddy. Hmm. I don't care if she's a genius or whatever. I still don't like her. She may have these people fooled with her timid girl act, but I learned at Radicon how cunning and aggressive she really is. Even if her murder was some kind of hallucination, my judgment of her character is still correct. For today's lecture, I've been asked to speak on the subject of time travel. It's not really my area of expertise, but I'll try my best. Time machine. Time travel? Uh huh. Wait. No way, they, they mentioned Dr. Nakabachi earlier in this. I, I, I thought she, like, straight up replaced him for a second there. <laughs> that would have been even weirder. Let me start by saying that time travel is an absurd concept. Objection! Every, every member of the audience, not just Karisu, is startled by my interruption. Perhaps I'm being slightly rude here, but I'm not one to just sit and listen to some genius girl's drivel. It's presumptuous for you to claim that time travel is absurd. Okarin, you magnificent fool. Sitting at my side, Daru smo smows me? Throws me a small salute. ATF staff are approaching proudly to kick me out. Perhaps I got too carried away. Um, okay. It's fine, I guess. It'll be easier to talk in a discussion format. Thanks to her proposal, the event staff refrained from escorting me out. She sounds a little pissed, but let's not mind that. But before that, please listen to my thoughts on the subject. Scientists have proposed many theoretical models of time travel, but there are 11 in particular that bear mentioning. Hmm, what are the major theories of time travel? I have heard about the cosmic string theory at least. Neutron star theory, black hole theory, light speed theory. Tachyon theory, wormhole theory, exotic matter theory. Cosmic string theory, quantum gravity theory, cesium laser theory. Elementary particle ring and laser theory. Dirac antiparticle theory. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. Perhaps Makisa Karisu is a worthy rival after all. 
However, all of these models are purely theoretical. Some of them even contradict each other. Well, what if someone comes up with a 12th model? Could be contradicted by the 13th model, now couldn't it? Damn! She twisted my question and used it against me! Touché, genius girl. Suddenly, I feel eyes on me. Some puffed up professors are giving me hard looks from across the room. I is it. like. Really bad hairline in the back row. Is, is that who's giving you the puffed up look? Maybe I got too carried away. I don't want to risk losing my credits. I should back off for now. By the way, time travel to the future is available to us right now, according to Einstein's special theory of relativity. For example, let's say someone were to go to Haneda Airport in Borna Plain headed to Okinawa. Upon arrival, that person would be about 100 millionth of a second farther into the future than I am. It's all about that speed, yo. What does that mean? According to the special theory of relativity, time moves slower for objects as they approach the speed of light. For example, if you could run at an, at near the speed of light, you could reach a point where time only moves half as fast for you. If you were to keep running at that speed for 24 hours, 48 hours would elapse in the rest of the world, meaning you would jump one day into the future. Understand, Loan Kiyoma? <coughs> Why are you singling me out? I'm doing my best to hold back, but it looks like Makisa Kurisu wants to pick a fight. I wish that she hadn't said that name in front of so many people. It's too great a risk to let others know my true name. But that's not really time travel, is it? Now, a professor calmly makes an objection. And we will find out how it's responded to next time.